hit and run victim speaks out after being hit by a stolen car full of teens. News Channel 8's Jamel Lene joins us from St. Pete, where that victim is home tonight resting. Yeah. Nursing a bruised shoulder and fractured arm, Toby Anderson says he's lucky to be alive. One different move, I could have died, and, and that's sad. Anderson was running errands when he was hit last night by four teens who St. Pete police say were in a stolen SUV on 33rd Street and 5th Avenue North. It, it makes me wonder where the, the um, fault lies. I'm thinking it's the parents. Detectives say the teens, two males and two females, bolted out of the car and tried to escape. Luckily, construction workers nearby detained three of the juveniles until police arrived. Investigators are still looking for a fourth. And if they get away with it, um, more people will die. That's just what will happen. Teens stealing cars has been an epidemic in Pinellas County. Last year, three teenage girls drowned after they drove a stolen car into a pond while trying to get away from deputies. This past August, three teenage boys died in a fiery crash while speeding in a stolen vehicle in Palm Harbor. Anderson, an eighth grade teacher in Tampa, says the juvenile justice system needs to take a long, hard look at these cases. If they've done it before and they can't see the wrong in it, they've got to uh, do some stiff time, I would say. All three teens are facing felony charges. One of the three captured, a 17-year-old boy, was previously arrested for grand theft auto last year.